Hey everybody, Sean here, and welcome to Revealing Truth. In a recent video, we showed hypocrite Catherine Crick denouncing her blasphemous idolatry to G.R. Davy. Yet she still said he will always be her spiritual father. Now there were some people commenting saying that that was like five years ago and she's moved on. Well, it was actually just two years ago when she made those comments. But no, she hasn't moved on and she doubles down on it in this video only seven months ago called Why I Could Never Leave My Spiritual Father. And just to be clear, she is speaking about G.R. Davy, and you can read below how she absolutely idolizes this mortal man. So please, if you do follow Catherine Crick, realize that this false apostle has not moved on and is leading many astray. And this video is just one more proof that she doesn't understand the things of God and is teaching nonsense. We don't get to choose our Elijah. We don't get to choose how we want to receive impartation. We don't get to go, I want to find the most popular, non-controversial minister. And so then I'm going to insert myself there. I'm going to try to make connections there. It cannot work that way. I know for sure that I am here today walking in my calling and walking in the anointing because I was obedient to where God had called me to be planted. Underneath the spiritual father, he had called me to be planted underneath. But God didn't call her to be planted underneath this arrogant man. Let's remember who this guy is. I mean, seriously, this guy gets red carpet treatment and wears an actual crown. Is this a humble servant of Christ like Catherine claims he is? He allows people to bow before him and kiss his feet and even says he wants to kill this lady. What? She's too clever. She's too clever. You are stupid. <laughs> What did I just tell you? You are what? What? Yeah, you really are. Look at my shoes. You see these shoes? I've killed many demons. Are you aware of it? You are aware. Okay. What style would you like to go? with my shoes. I want to kill you now. I'm about to kill you. Yes, yo, yo, yo. But anyhow, let's get back to Catherine's speech. God wanted Elisha to carry Elijah's exact mantle. The meaning of mantle is it's the same anointing. It was the same uh, anointing that Elijah was walking in that Elisha received. That's why Elisha had to be obedient to go to where Elijah was and serve him. Because you can't choose your calling. You can't choose your purpose. Only God chooses it. So she's saying that God called her to be an apostle through fake false teacher G.R. Davy. And that's just not true. Jesus personally chose the true apostles. So several times, Elijah is saying, Elisha, stay here while I go over here. And Elisha kept saying, no, I won't leave you. And this was a test from God, a test of his loyalty, a test to see if he would remain planted where God had called him to. And Elisha passed it. This was a test he needed to pass to receive his mantle, the mantle from Elijah. And I've been tested in this too. The American Western church, there's a lot of religion. There's ethnocentrism. There's many with just biases too. I've seen all of those things make some people reject my spiritual father and in turn reject me. We reject him because he's an arrogant false teacher 
and we reject you because you are too. This is the thing about religion is that the more that someone is like Jesus, the more religion hates them. There's nobody the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the religious ones, hated more than Jesus. Today, the more that we are like Jesus, the Pharisees of today, the religious spirit, the more they will hate us. But you're nothing like Jesus. You've actually charged money to cast demons out of people. You've lied and said planting bigger financial seeds breaks bigger curses. You falsely taught people how to become an apostle. You said that the Bible says not to expose false teachers when it absolutely does. How can you say that you're anything close to being like Jesus? So I've seen that hatred. I've seen that jealousy spirit, that Pharisee religious spirit. Reject my spiritual father. Many people have said, you should leave him. And you know what I say to that? To all those people who say that to me, who have said that to me in the past, and who will say it to me in the future. I say these familiar words that Jesus said one time to a, to a Christian. Get behind me, Satan. <laughs> Hallelujah. So a lot of Christians can literally be agents of Satan. It's not like Peter was possessed by Satan. But in that moment, he was being used. That's why Jesus said, this is the devil talking to me and trying to tempt me right now. Get behind me. I reject that lie. And so I'm never leaving my spiritual father. I, I could never. I know that this would grieve God more than anything, and would, that's what would grieve my heart more than anything. I know that the anointing would dry up. I know that my purpose would not be fulfilled. I know that the devil's plans would succeed. She has faith in man, not God. 1 John 2.27 says, that the anointing we received from him remains in us, him being God and the anointing being the Holy Spirit. And we know that the Holy Spirit will be with us forever. Yet she says if she leaves G or Davy, her anointing will dry up. Can you not see that this woman doesn't understand the things of God at all? And isn't it interesting that the verse before the one about the anointing remaining in us says that this is being written about those who are trying to lead you astray because that's exactly what Catherine is doing. So for all that say Catherine Crick has moved on since she denounced her idolatrous worship of Gior Davy, it's not true. He's still an idol to her and she is still a false apostle and a false teacher. And with that being said, we're gonna leave it here for today, but I pray God opens your eyes before it's too late.